Well, good morning and welcome back to Tractors and Life. Um, it's almost November and um, it's like 65 degrees outside, a little drizzly, but we're gonna use this uh, great weather to our advantage right now. Um, I've got with me working uh, today my son Brian, and uh, so we talk on this channel about different tools and different things that we use to help us get the jobs done. I'll tell you one thing, if you've got around the house is a 24-year-old strong son, uh, that's the best thing to have, especially on a day like this. Take a look at that, uh, our beautiful birch tree out back. That's gotta be 60 feet tall or so. Uh, yesterday, Brian and I were uh, trimming up some lower tree branches. I was on a pretty tall ladder and took a spill. Landed on my back, uh, looked like a gymnast doing a roll coming off of it. Um, but, so today I'm pretty sore, so Brian's gonna be uh, handling the chains for us today. So let's go to work. So normally I'm gonna be using the, my bucket on this. I don't have the uh, bucket hooks on, so we're gonna improvise. So on our channel, um, I don't like to show everything that goes perfect. Um, you know, uh, Brian was learning how to chain up this bush and it was a little loose and yeah, popped up, but, but we did get it. He's learning and I'm learning about this tractor. one good shout. Three or four more to go. It's that time of year. We've got a lot of leads coming down. We're going to show you how we take care of the leads too. Kind of a combination of using the uh, X350 and John Deere Long Sweeper. Okay, remember you're going to a point, around twice and up to a point. Right there, exactly. I really enjoy working with my son. Um, he's always got a positive attitude. You know, I look at these as life skills. Uh, you know, I don't think he's going to be a professional bush puller, but um, just being able to learn something new except, and um, take direction and take some criticism sometime, I think these are just great life lessons. And I feel blessed that I'm able to uh, be out here on a beautiful day doing this with my son. All right, we're going to try this at just a flat out idle. I'm going to back up a little bit. Got it. We're just hanging by a thread, but we got it and we lost it. All right, well, we got the forts on, so what the heck. That's why God made pallet for us. And we're off. Now that get into high gear. That was all done just, just at an idle. And you can see that's that's got a pretty decent root ball on it. There is nothing here that's going to change your life as a tractor operator, but you know, again, I'm learning what my tractor will do, what it won't do, what I'm comfortable in doing with it. And you know, it's a beautiful day and I'm with my son, trying to teach him some new skills and well, we're having fun.
about that. Again, add an idle. So why are we doing this? Well, I'm all about less maintenance. And this is an area of our property that, well, frankly, we don't see. And every year, I'm mulching it. I, we're trimming up those ugly barberry bushes that we took out, which if you've never trimmed a barberry bush, you you have you to experience just how wonderful all those little prickers are. So right now, uh, we're taking the bushes out and then uh, in the spring, uh, we're gonna take all this out, all the uh, black edging out, take the mulch out and seed it. And yeah, less maintenance. I've got a lot of beds on this part. So as Brian gets this ready, this lilac bush is probably 30, 35 years old. And uh, they've got a pretty good rooting system on it. So this will be a good little test for the 2038. We'll see what we can do. All right, a little different strategy here. I'm gonna test this out. Let's see what we got. Best course of action here was simply to put it on the forks and bring it on over. Hope I'm wide enough to, or narrow enough to fit through this. I think I am. 2038 comes through again. That's a pretty big rooting system on this um, lilac bush. Again, less maintenance. I'm all about it. Springtime for us is a uh, busy time of year. Uh, I hear everybody else we have the same spring rituals, but on top of that, that's when we do an awful lot of our tractor work for other people. So it does not give me nearly enough time here at home to take care of the things that I need to do, and less maintenance certainly helps it. I'm watching too at the uh, amount of tracks I'm leaving because this is going to be indicative of what I'm going to see in the spring and working at other people's places. And we've had some rain. It is fall, which is normally a pretty wet time of year. And um, it's not that bad. A little depressions because of the R4 tires. But um, nothing that uh, gives me an awful lot of concern. I'm going to see how these R4 tires are this winter though, that's gonna be the key. They are not the best in icy circumstances. One more bush to do. So a little different approach here. Uh, we're gonna use our big shackle on the back and then we just got it around the bush a couple times, which actually, Brian, this one needs to get tightened down there. Go to the, go to the lowest one. Yeah, hook it on the lowest one if you can so it's nice and tight. There we go. All right, let's see what happens. All right, here we go. We're just uh, at an idle in low gear. Should pop right out. And it does. Yeah, we'll lose some soil dragging it over there. You know, I guess having a tractor, these are not, there's certainly nothing that we, you can't do by hand with a shovel. But if you watched our channel for any, any length of time, you know that uh, I have a severe allergy to shovels and rakes. So 
I got this thing. I'm not getting any younger. If it can make my life easier, I'm all for it. I'm sure I'm no different than you guys. You know, I just wonder if, uh, if you guys are anything like me that we just, I just look for projects to do with the tractor. I love being on it. I mean, let's face it, <laughs> spent a lot of money for these machines. And uh, I'm not about it just sitting in the barn doing nothing. If I've got a project, I'm anxious to do it. Right now what I'm doing too, is I'm kind of feeling out what this tractor will do, what it won't do, and um, you know, getting more familiar with it. So in the springtime when I started getting into some heavy duty work, um, I won't be as foreign to the machine. Snow plowing will do a lot for that as well. Snow plowing is gonna tell me, we get some heavy snows, what this tractor can and can't do, I'll be comparing it to the 1025. Uh, I know what that can do, and it's pretty impressive, but I'm really anxious to see what this can do in a big snowfall. So I've got a uh, delivery coming up with a brand new attachment that you guys will see soon. So I'm gonna keep the forks on. It's kind of why they've been on. I'm not gonna get much notice on this delivery, apparently. Uh, actually came from uh, Courtney at Goodworks Tractor. And boy, I gotta tell you what, uh, his customer service, his communication, even on a weekend, is just absolutely fantastic. So uh, I, uh, I therefore would uh, recommend Courtney for uh, any needs that you guys might have. I think it was uh, Sunday when I started the process with him, and in a couple hours it was done. Uh, come Monday, uh, Toby was being picked up, shipped out, and today is Thursday, I, I believe. It is scheduled for delivery today. Thanks for watching. Uh, did you have some fun, Brian? Yeah. yeah. We always have fun with, uh, with uh, Johnny, too. Um, we gotta get Tess, gotta get Mom back in the videos. I think the viewers like seeing her. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, God bless you all, and thanks for watching Tractors in Life. Good job, Brian.